What is up guys and today it's going to be a little bit of a different video we're going to be discussing guided munitions uh, with from aircraft essentially uh, I'm going to go through the list of these and at the end I'm going to go through quickly how to use them and what settings you kind of need to set up so if you want to skip to that now you can do that but if not I'll go through all the different missiles and types we have in the game so first off we have MCLOS missiles now these ones uh, are abbreviated are called manual command to light of sight and these require the arrow keys on your computer to guide this missile which can be very very annoying um, they they usually they're pretty useless I'm not gonna lie to you You're getting used to them and actually being able to use them effectively will take a while uh, here's the list of these different ones so as you can see there are six different types of the game two American two French ones and yeah that's the missile I'm using in this video here. Uh, the second type of missile we have uh, SACLOS which is semi-automatic command to line of sight. Uh, these are similar to uh, MCLOS however these ones have like a little computer that um, makes adjustments for you so you haven't got to do the arrow keys it just goes to where your aircraft's nose is pointing. Uh, so here's the list of missiles in the game, which are Sacros. Uh Most of these are actually found on helicopters and not on aircraft. And it's, uh, I'm using the Phalanger in this video, which is in the helicopter, uh, which is the worst helicopter in the game. But we're using it for this. Uh, so next up, we have television guided bombs and missiles. So this is definitely by far my favourite one. Uh, it has a camera in the nose of the, the bomb or missile, and you can launch these. Uh, once you've locked onto a target and fly off in a different direction to avoid uh, SPAA or other aircraft and uh, what you can do is you can adjust it through uh, pressing for me it's V bringing up your uh, weapon sight kind of thing bomb sight whatever and you can track it through there and even adjust where it's going uh, the next type is infrared uh, and also here's the TV guided missiles this bomb uh, infrared, which is very similar to it, uh, but this one has sort of like the optical camera. It's like a heat seeking, heat source uh, camera kind of thing. So it's it's basically the same, but it has heat signatures instead of the normal camera, which makes it easier to to find targets, I guess. Uh, and the final type is laser guided munitions. Here's the list, and as you can see, there's quite a few different types. And these ones, a laser pointer, and it points where the missile goes. So you have to keep uh, the missile in like usually in a box which will come on your screen and you have to keep uh, the target in that box and you can adjust where the missile goes but if you lose if you move out of that box you can no longer la like use the laser on the ground and you can't really control it uh, but that's the most of them in the game we're going to go through and I'm going to show you how to use these different type of missiles so we're just going to go over the um, M class missiles here, so I'm using the AS20 Nords on the G91. Um, and so I'm just going to go over exactly what you need to do. Uh, so once you find a target and you launch, you can use your arrow keys and your missile can go up, down, or wherever. Um, there, you need a lot of experience, like I said earlier. Um, best is just literally spam them, but even then, you're not even guaranteed to get get a kill. Uh, so these ones definitely just need a little, a little, quite a bit of practice, but there's n there's nothing really too much to it. It's just it's a missile. You can use your arrow keys. It's probably going to be ineffective, but good luck to you if you can learn how to do them really well. Uh, but that's that. Uh, so now we're just going to go over the guided TV missiles bombs. So this is um, the guided missile here, the TV one. And the first thing you want to do is make sure you set up your controls for this weapon. Uh, so make sure you go to weaponry and have this here, lock guided bombs, you need to set a key for that. Uh, so I've set it as my normal shoot button because there's no need, because when I'm in bomb site, I'm not going to be shooting my main guns. Now what you want to do now is pretty simple, is find yourself a target and you want to press spacebar and it's locking and then press it again and honestly that's it there you go easy as one two three uh, 
what you want to do is this in an actual game is make sure you fly really high up come down f from straight above uh, the radar won't be able to pick you up as well um, but yeah that, that, that's literally it same with the guided bombs same thing uh, you don't have like a little box like the laser one you can literally just launch it and then just disappear uh, the missiles are better because obviously they have their own power uh, unlike the um, kind of bombs so again launch that and then I'm gone and it's far I forget there you go easy if you have any problems let me know in the comments and I'll see if I can help with them and so our final missile of the day is the laser guided missile or bomb but in this point it is a missile so I find these ones quite annoying depending on which variant you use this is what you get this is the, the, the best zoom you get so unless you can literally identify a single pixel it's going to be a right pain so once you've launched your missile you can just literally guide it in There's something here and there you go so it's pretty easy it has to stay within that box if you leave that box uh, with where you're you're aiming then the missile will lose contact it's quite simple uh, there's no like special buttons you need it's literally click and then launch and guide it in that's all you need to know it's super simple um, and yeah 